Mortimer snurred. Mortimer snurred. <laughs> That's me, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Well, uh, are you a city boy? Oh, I'm a country boy. A country boy. You work on a farm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you raise? Oh, corn, potatoes, and stuff like that. I see. Well, then you must have rich soil. Hmm? I say you must have rich soil. Where? On the farm. Rich soil? Yes. Why? Well, if you raise all those products. Yeah. Yes. Yes, what? I don't know. No. <laughs> you must have rich soil, haven't you? Yeah. Rich soil? Yes. On the farm? On the farm. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You mean, you mean it's fur? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, mighty, mighty fur. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's funny. How many pictures were taken? All of the features were snapped from every angle, day and night, by professionals and amateurs. The light generated by all the flash bulbs put the sun to shame. A Decatur Republican newspaper columnist named Fred W. Green had this to say about Bergen showmanship. By hard work, he developed a genius of such magnitude that he has illuminated the whole world by his clever wit, bringing cheer to the downhearted amusement to the sober-minded, and many happy hours for thousands of shut-ins. Cars were still coming in when the show was nearly over. Edgar would come out of the, my grandparents' house onto that front uh, porch, and often he'd bring, you know, one of the dummies, and he'd do a little sketch or skit, and wave to the crowd, and then he'd go down and autograph. There would be just, you know, two, three hundred people uh, out there on this small lawn in the driveway. They had their, you know, the Hollywood publicity people were there, and there you were, you know, uh, free as a, the breeze and just having the time of your life. It was a vaulting experience for a kid, yeah? That's what I remember about those crowds. Bergen spoke his most relevant words when he was off stage. Fred Green asked Bergen what he thought of Decatur. Quite natural to be here. Haven't felt so much at home for years. Bergen looked exactly what he said. He went on to say that everywhere he went, the people knew him, though he knew few. I am home, he said, and expect to meet people I know and can call by name. It feels good to have them call me Eddie, because they know me and their greetings are appreciated. Edgar Bergen's greatness was initiated in the Decatur community through people such as his father and mother who demonstrated sacrifice, Clara Abbott, his teacher, and Dr. William Bope, his mentor. Visiting Decatur on several occasions, Edgar Bergen's spirit was strengthened by the community a special approval and familiarity absent from audiences outside of the village. 
I am where people actually know me. I am Eddie Indicator. I am home. After two years of filming, I had put together a humble but passionate movie, accomplished some real-world filmmaking, made many new friends, and had a great time with community actors. Yet, I felt I had fallen short of my original plan. I was hoping to convince a Hollywood producer to make a movie about Edgar Bergen, which would help the local economy. 